I'm well aware that in there, there are people that really don't like me. Always in me. People thinking that I'm just faking my enthusiasm. Is that how you are? That's you. Oh. Hello, I'm Francis Bourgeois. This is a show where I share my passion for train spotting with celebrities. If you enjoy this episode, please press the subscribe button. <laughs> That is just pure electricity. Well, pure diesel, but electricity in my body. We're just outside of Greater Manchester, and we're going to be meeting up with the footballing star, Jesse Lingard. Got an epic day planned, and I'm hoping to try and test out what's left of my football skills from sixth form. This is my first time in Warrington Bank Key, and I was really excited to be meeting Jesse on his home turf. My experience with football through school wasn't really the best. Absolute clumsy clogs. Back in Warrington, you know? Hometown. As Jesse arrived onto the platform, my nerves started to kick in, but it was great to see that his outfit was almost the same colourway as my Elizabeth line bag. Nice to meet you. OK. You too. I'm really looking forward to today. I've got some pretty serious stuff lined up. Um, any surprises? Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, some some surprises. Seems like you're you're prepared for any kind I'm ready. of. I'm ready. I'm ready if anything. So like, where was your kind of football nurtured when you were younger? When I first get to ball, I was like, I think 14 months old. From from my baby, I was, I was kicking a ball. From then on, my grandmother got me into football straight away, and it was you know about getting a team and just playing. Mm -hmm. You know, going to tournaments, and that's what that's where the scouts obviously you know see you from there. So, was your granddad a, like a big influence in like yeah, generating? Yeah, like I say, he took me on Ash turf pretty much every day. He wanted to play football in school, nothing. Yeah. In case he got injured, um, you know, so he's he was he was very on it like that. Well, I have uh, probably the least glamorous train <laughs> that could come through here in a minute. It's called. It's nicknamed the bin liner. The bin liner. Yeah. Wow. It's pungent to say the least. How do you know what it smells like? I've smelt it before. You know, like bin yeah, juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to do like a little wave like that, and that's it. <laughs> you smell it? I can't smell it. I think this one might be empty. Or a little, a little bit there. Oh, I smell it now. Yeah, you smell it. Oh. How can you stand there? Fresh bins, that one. When was the last time you took out bins? <laughs> Not since I was like 13. <laughs> what did you? Um, two days ago. Yeah? Yeah. We can leave that be now, I think. I was having loads of fun train spotting with Jesse, but next I wanted to take him on a trip down memory lane. Wow, you brought me here? What yeah. stomping ground? Yeah, I, this was the surprise I was talking wow. about earlier. And so you mentioned earlier about um, your granddad. So this is where it would have all happened. Is it all started? This one was about seven, eight. He's come on here every day, practice, shooting, passing, everything. Wow. So I guess this place to you is like my Wilsdon Junction. Yeah. Means a lot to yeah, yeah. me. Wilsdon Junction means a lot to you. Yeah, yeah. So uh, after seeing some of your epic like gold compilations and stuff, like I can see you're a guy who likes to do celebrations. So. Do it again. What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. A lot of people do that, to be honest. Uh, I'm embarrassed myself now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, quite, I'm quite itching to have a bit of a kick about, to be honest. Well, get quick. Get in a box. Go on, man. Biddy! I almost dis dislodged a <laughs> kneecap there. Oh, well, tops off. That's you know it's serious. After my woeful first shot, I wanted to show Jesse that I had more in the bag. Go. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Francis, get on that. <laughs> so unfortunate. I could see why Jesse was picked for the England squad. He was smashing it in the goal first time, but I kept missing. I was focusing too much on the power and not necessarily the direction. Oh, Francis! <laughs> Francis! Yeah, it's boiling. I'm going to start going to the gym again. I've decided I want to get the my old physique back. And I think my girlfriend would probably prefer it as well. She loves you for you, Francis, not for your body. 
How does that feel? It was time to get back to the football. Feels a bit strange, but <laughs> I wanted to show Jesse that I could at least score one goal. See properly. Can't see. And then Francis. finally, I scored. Francis, Francis, Francis. <laughs> My celebration is going to be this, right? It's going to be. <laughs> As the ball hit the back of the net, I felt a thrill slightly similar to what I felt this morning with a class 37. Francis! <laughs> I feel like I could take this to a party. I'd learnt a lot from Jesse, but my good luck streak was coming to an end. It was time to take Jesse to the Diesel Gala at the East Lanx Railway. A place where railway enthusiasts can come together and share a journey in Mark I carriages from the 1950s behind monstrous locomotives of a similar vintage. The carriages were rammed with bashers and I couldn't find us a seat. But we were off, thrashing into the countryside. <laughs> I find the sound of that loco, like, uh, it makes me, it makes me buzz in a way that I imagine like a sort of a football crowd would. You mean to in what? Only Walsall, Stow United, but there was only like 250 people. You need to experience the, the crowd properly. Yeah. It's, it's electric. What was the FA Cup against, final against Crystal Palace like? That was crazy. Okay. We, get, we get Google thinking right now. Yeah. The crowd is going wild and that. Chair was off, everybody jumping the crowd. That was one of the best. Best, best well, games. The atmosphere, that crowd erupted straight away. It's like it's not happen. It happened, but you, you, don't, you don't feel it at the time. Yeah, yeah. It kind of hits you afterwards. Like you make your phone blowing or whatever, you see it on the TV, yeah. well, and the replays. Smoke. Oh, yeah. That buzz, that adrenaline well, running through your body. I wish I could express what you feel, and you could express what I feel. I was aware I was getting some looks in the carriage, and I wasn't sure if people were happy to see me as sometimes I get mean comments from other train enthusiasts online. I've kind of gone in here a bit because I'm well aware that in there, there are people that really don't like me. It's something that I find quite weird to think that within my own community of people that don't like me the most. You care about that? I like to make everyone feel good, so it's a bit sort of like disheartening sometimes. People thinking that I'm just faking my enthusiasm. But that's, but that's you just being you, know. Um, oh, you are? That's you? Oh. Jesse was right, and you can't expect everyone to like you all the time. But it was still on my mind. Uh, at the end of the day, I, I, I do want to try and make friends with these people and try and show them that I, I love the same thing as them, and that I kind of express it in a different way. Mm. But on the other hand, you get nice smiley people as well, so it's like a real mixed bag. I think they're more positive than negative, to be honest. Yeah. I wanted to take Jesse to a part of the train where we'd really hear the Class 37 thrashing. As 37109 thundered away, I started to relax. <laughs> to explain what bashing is, it's basically riding on a train like this for the sake of it, just, just to hear the thrash, uh, just to like enjoy yeah. the journey. Oh, that's a celebration. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, as an as an expression of like appreciation for the loco, like, yeah. I reckon next time you score a goal, you just gotta you gotta go for it. Bash. Honestly, the old school bashers will hate me for doing this. <laughs> like, when I get stressed, my heart hurts, and it was it was hurting my heart big there because I could feel loads of people looking at me, and, not, and I knew they didn't like me. Forget them. Yeah. I'm gonna miss it. You got before. Yeah. What did it say? It said that my, my videos make the difference and make their day better. See? And where did she? Where was she? Half across, halfway across the world. Or? Yeah. So you can affect a lot of people. Yeah. By yeah. doing what you're doing. I was so touched by how supportive Jesse was, and it made me feel much better. There was one more thing to do. With 37703 leading, it was time to say goodbye. This is gonna be thrash. Oh, chill doing that. <laughs> and then, as 703 powered up, something amazing happened. <laughs> See you, folks. Oh. You are the man, Francis, mate. <laughs> oh. Francis, you are the man, mate. <laughs>
Right. I told you, Francis, you didn't gulp me. I couldn't believe it. After feeling worried in the carriage that people didn't like me, positivity was being shouted from out the windows. It's actually made me feel a bit emotional. Sure. <laughs> Why? Why? Because um, I told you the love for your meat. <laughs> that was a cry. Told you. Positivity outweighs negativity, Francis. Yeah. You'll be fine. It was just nice to see them too. I couldn't believe I was crying in front of one of England's biggest football players. But I was so overcome with emotion about feeling a real part of the railway enthusiast community. I told you, you loved. You loved. But it's, it's like a happy um, emotion because I'm just seeing that, you know, I'm appreciated. Because I'm always worried about, you know, up, like people not liking me or upsetting me or whatever. I don't have to worry about that. Look what you're doing now. Yeah, that was fantastic. Make everyone smile, laugh, no cries. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> I would. That's a perfect ending, that. It was a perfect ending. Honoured to meet you. Oh, thanks, a brilliant mate. day. I've been top. Cheers, buddy. It had been a lovely day, from seeing the pungent <laughs> bin liner waft by to practising football skills on Jesse's childhood pitch and finally soaking up the wonderful atmosphere at the Diesel Gala. One little town yeah. at a road. That was a nice one. <laughs>